What's up y'all? Welcome back in the shop. It's Tool Review Tuesday again. And today I'm gonna review this little snap-on butane torch that they just came out with. And uh, it's just super handy all the way around. Maybe just a little bit on the high, on the price side, but it's been just real good. And uh, no issues at all with it whatsoever compared to some of the cheaper ones. I'd highly recommend it. Uh, I'm gonna show you all the different little things here. It's gonna be kind of a short review, but straight to the point and uh, let's get into it here so here it is the new snap-on torch 400 I think they've had this out maybe a year at least six months for sure this is the high-vis yellow uh, they make several different colors I know they have orange red green I think they have orange I don't know if I've personally seen an orange. I know they have red and green for sure, but I think they have all their, their standard colors. They may even have some different oddball ones. I haven't looked them up to see what all they have available. That's just what I've seen on the truck. And uh, the high vis really pops to me on a lot of things. I like that in the orange pretty well. So I ended up with this one because what they had, but uh, I mean, it just works really well. I mean, granted, it's it's about a hundred bucks is what they run. Uh, it comes with a one-year warranty in case you drop it or anything defective goes on internal. But I haven't had any issues at all with it. It's just been real handy. Works every time. You feel it with butane there from an aerosol can. And you got the little window here. Like you can see, can't really see the air bubble, but. It's pretty easy to see when it's full. And uh, you just push that in, pull that, just lights up, pretty good flame. And if you let this out like that, let off on that, it locks it. You can adjust, that's all the way up. And then you can adjust it down. Clean, even burn. And the little flame works great for like heat shrink and that, where you just need a little bit of heat. And uh, the bigger flame, I've used plenty of times on soldering like the big 3 8 uh, copper or brass uh, eyelets on the like, battery terminal cables and stuff. Where like a propane torch doesn't normally get hot enough and acetylene gets too hot. And this falls right in the middle and it works really well. Just push that and it shuts it off. But a pretty good design. They got a decently wide tip on it I've even used it a few times to heat up smaller bolts in a pinch where I didn't have access to a acetylene torch and it might take five minutes or so which is a little bit while and you're gonna burn through your butane pretty quick but uh I say you could heat several bolts up in a row and I still have plenty of butane There's really not a lot to review on a torch. It either works or it doesn't. And uh, as handy as this is and as well as it works, the heat aspect is about right where it should be. I would highly recommend it. And they do make a smaller version. I don't know what the BTU difference is on it. It's just a little bit smaller, but I went for the hotter one because I mean, you can adjust it down, so why would you get the smaller one? I don't really know on that. I don't know as far as price goes. I think it may be like 20 bucks cheaper, but. But yeah, it, it just all around works really well. And uh, for comparison, this is what I used to use for like heat shrinking that. And uh, it burns a pretty good flame. I think this was about 30 or $40. I don't remember exactly. But it's just, the flame's tiny compared to... Well, it'll stay lit here. There you go. I mean, you can see the difference in flame there. That's a pretty big difference, especially when you're trying to solder a pretty good sized cable on.
Ivan went out camping last weekend and I took this to start my campfire. You don't even need any fire starter. We just burn on the dry sticks for a little bit. Even about as big around as a quarter and they'll just light right up and turn into coals. So yeah, for the hundred bucks that they run, maybe with tax you 110 or whatever. If I ran over it with a car tomorrow, I'd go buy another one. I really would. They really got their design and temperature and everything put into it just right for the application that I need it for. And a lot of you guys are in the same type of situation as far as needs from a torch like this. And I'd highly recommend it. All right, let me know what you think in the comments. Like, share, all that good stuff. I appreciate all the interaction. And uh, I'll keep more of these videos coming. Here this Friday, I got one coming up on uh, how to set the pressure on a hydraulic system, more specifically a 12 volt hydraulic pump. And uh, this kind of some unique different things and there's not really a lot of information out there on them. So that's what we got coming up this Friday. So stay tuned and we'll keep these videos coming. Until next time.